I like these little post-it notes and I like sending things to city council that are pleasant and that have more information than just what the note has. In other words, I, I use QR codes. I've used them quite a bit. I try to use pictures where I can. I just got a color printer about six months ago. I've been doing black and white most of my life. The post-it note on this one went, angels sense you need them, as angels always do. They come unseen from everywhere to help and comfort you. So we've got a QR code here, and under this note, a southern Louisiana farmer met his enchanting estranged daughter who was now in her mid-30s. The trusting farmer in early stages of Alzheimer's, the daughter mentally damaged from a car accident, has a beau, a New York City globe-trotting high roller who is barely alive due to a massive heart attack. Bob's farm was sold. Somehow the money vanished. Although the daughter wanted her dad to live with them, the men, roughly the same age, just didn't get along. Subsequently, Robert is on the street. No alcohol, no drugs. A trucker, farmer, solid, quality, trusting human being living on the street. He is one story. Although many, maybe most folks, have substance abuse problems, some don't. Dan Bryant of Eugene, Oregon, who founded the program, video link is uh, in the above corner, says about one-third of the homeless people are there because of circumstance, one-third because of substance abuse, and one-third um, mental, mental illness dictated their circumstances. It's very interesting. With love in my heart, BeaumontTexas.gov has plenty of land, resources, desire to help those in need. Actually, they have no desire to help those in need. The public does. The city does not. Compassionate leadership is required. Council members, I urge you, think. And I've handed them a formula uh, established by other communities that Melinda and I learned about at Walk Bike Places in 2018 on how to go about um, implementing homeless camps in our community, uh, synergistically managed by the police department, um, mental health, Department of Mental Health, and church groups who actually, there are many who want to help out. There are ways to do this that have been established. We don't need to pave any new trails or blaze any new trails. I've sent city council members letters about this they know what to do. They just refuse to do it. And the refusal, I feel certain, comes at the level of city manager of this city. Um, what can we do about it? We Today we have a new city manager, but he's interim. Let's see what happens.